everybody and welcome back to my channel. This week I want to talk to you guys about something that has saved my butt more times than I can count. We call it the nanny kit in our family but obviously it has nothing to do with the fact that I am a nanny and more so the fact that I work with children. So what I did when I first started working with kids is I very quickly discovered that there are certain key elements that you never want to be without. So I put together a bag of things that stays in my car at all times that I have for when I'm out with kids and I need something when we're on the go. So this bag has been the greatest thing for me and it's so so easy and it's just perfect to have at all times. So to start, the actual bag that I use is a 31 tote. I bought this forever ago. I have a wonderful 31 consultant. I will link her down in the description because it has all these little compartments on the sides and on the ends that you can see are already full on mine. And it is perfect size for me and everything I need. The first thing I keep in it, as you can imagine, is diapers. Now, these diapers you're gonna look at and be like, where are these from and what the heck? Because I don't have my own children, I didn't want to buy a big huge package of diapers. I just grab one or two diapers and they stay in the kit in the car for whoever I need them for. And I thought I had one the other day and I didn't. So I was really glad that I had these, but they don't get used very often. This was a three pack and I got them at Dollar Tree. If you're a mom, obviously you can just grab a couple out of your own package and throw them in your car. The other thing I always make sure I have is wipes. My wipes packages are pretty beat up. I have two different sets right now. These ones again were from Dollar Tree. They were $1.25. These ones I believe I got at Walmart in the States. It was 75 cents for 80 wipes. I just keep cheap wipes in the car because again I don't use them often. It's just for emergency situations. There's this whole idea around wipes that they freeze in your car which I believe is probably true. I have never had it happen to me. I don't generally leave wipes in this type of packaging. I have the Huggies Ziploc kind of container. And the other thing you can do is just put them into a regular Ziploc bag and leave them in your car at all times and it will prevent them from freezing, which is awesome. The next thing that lives in my car, which you guys are gonna find somewhat funny, I'm gonna move this up a little, is a t-shirt. I keep a t-shirt for me in my car at all times because I work with babies and sometimes babies spit up. And it's just so nice that if I'm out and I have a lot of families I'm seeing in a day, I have a clean shirt I can put on when I need it. Sticking with clothes, I always have at least one pair of mittens or gloves in the car for pumping gas, for running to the bus stop, for running to grab kids, whatever I need them. I also keep socks. I hate socks. I never wear socks willingly and every indoor playground that I've ever seen requires all adults and children to wear socks. So I always, always, always make sure I have a pair of socks in case we last minute decide to go to an indoor playground. I don't have to buy $2 socks every time I'm there. I also keep plastic bags. I keep them in my car for in case kids have blowouts so I need to put their clothes in it if we have a really stinky diaper I need to take care of. These bags, as silly as it is, can do so many things and can be so, so, so helpful. To go with the regular wipes that you use on a baby, I keep Lysol wipes in my car. I love Lysol wipes. I use them all over my house to begin with, but I love, love, love having them in my car to clean up any spills and messes. I bought my car brand new and said, no eating in my car. That lasted a whole probably week before we got busy and running to activities and I had to let them eat in my car just for convenience. So I always make sure now I keep Lysol wipes in my car so I can clean up any messes and get everything taken care of when it happens. I also keep umbrella in my car. You will laugh, but I actually have four umbrellas in my car almost all the time. I deal with a lot of older kids. I pick them up from school. And I started with one big golf umbrella and it was awesome and I had no problems. And then I met a wonderful family that I love that has three children and the three children fought and could not walk with me and the umbrella and be that close to each other. So I purchased this umbrella. It's my very cute one that I love that saves my purse so I have it no matter where I'm going. And then I have two other umbrellas that I just bought at the dollar store, again, $1.25 
they're not the best condition, but they just live in my car, and when we need them, we have them, and when we don't need them, they're just tucked out of the way. I also keep a towel in my car. This towel is probably one of my favorite things that I keep in my car. So, it is used in emergency situations. If I need to change a diaper, I can lay it down on the seats and protect my car. The primary reason why I keep this in my car is to dry off slides and park equipment. Hilarious, I know, but there's nothing worse than going to the park and it being a beautiful day and it's either wet because it rained the night before or because of just dew and overnight and everything else. Sticking with the towel, I also have blankets in my car. This is one of two blankets that I have with me at all times. I used to just have the one. I added a second because in the summer I usually have four or five kids with me most days and we go for a lot of picnics and they could not sit that close to each other. They're not that big of blankets. So we got a second blanket that stays in my car and that way everyone can spread out. Lastly, I have this lovely bag. If you are a parent with a child who's been in kindergarten or a young grade or you are a kindergartner, you know this zippy usually contains all of your important paperwork to and from school. For me, and I keep snacks. There is nothing that can save a meltdown faster than a snack. We love to go to the park and some days it's just nice to be able to stop right after school and not go home first and get a snack and do it in time. Some days we just really need a snack. So I make sure I always have snacks in my car. They cater to all of the allergies that I have in my life that I see often. That's basically it. That is what I keep primarily in my nanny kit that stays in my car. There's also usually a package of pocket Kleenexes. I am out and I have to get more of them. But other than that, that is what stays in my car and I love it, like I said. Please let me know in the comments. Is there anything that you keep in your car? Do you just carry everything back and forth? Do you keep your car nice and clean? Do you let your kids eat in the car or have snacks in the car? What do you do? What works for you and your family? I would love to hear it. Please like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you're thinking and I will see you next week for another video. Bye guys.